Coach Kathy. I'm in glasses because I was just mowing. I didn't want to hit anything in my eyes. In the cool of the evening, and I would, I live in Utah, moved here 11 months ago um, from Washington State, and I actually would imagine that I'm in Washington right now because just next door, I was mowing and I saw the neighbor's cat just like staring across at the other yard. And it was peculiar because I wasn't startling it, which I always do. And I took a look at what it was mesmerized by. And I can't see it right now. Oh. Maybe it jumped. It was a, a deer. I don't see it anymore. I'm going to have to go look because I actually called animal control because this is not the mountains. There's a little ways over and it's going to get hurt something or killed. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go take a look at it. We'll see what happened. So I did find it. It was just sleeping. I don't know if you can see it back there in the distance. It's so darn sweet. And this is a rogue cat. All right, Ricky, can you say hi? Can you say hi? Yes. That's my stray cat that kind of thinks it lives at my house and my, my cats don't think it's too hot, but it's adorable. So anyway, found the deer. Again, it's right there in the corner. I know it's so hard sometimes to see the brown amidst the green, but this is definitely a peculiar sight in Brigham City, Utah. So see ya. Bye-bye. Okay, so there's the officer right across the street. Can you see the officer's car? I don't know that you can, but... I just got schooled on on Utah and deer. He says they're here all the time. I just never have seen them. But they do come down from the mountains. And actually the mountains aren't that far from us. They're right up there. But it was just so weird. So even some people who walked by said, I've never seen a deer. No. That's my encounter tonight. Mowing. And then the little excitement afterwards. So Utah isn't so far from Washington in the wildlife. See ya. Take care. Bye.